Hi everyone, so it's been about four days, three or four days since our last uh, upload and I just wanted to say a few things. MLK Day, a great game from the Bucks versus the Brooklyn Nets and with the Brooklyn Nets winning I do want to add one thing before they get off too easy on my end. They struggled so much trying to score some, or I'm sorry, trying to keep the Bucks from scoring some buckets. As I said, DeAndre Jordan was going to put in too much damage on the defensive end for them to be able to defend any elite teams. And that's exactly what happened against the Bucks. The Bucks almost uh, seem to get easy buckets on every trip, and I don't see that changing in the future either. Unless Brooklyn makes another trade, uh, unless they add someone else, but it's going to be a little bit of a problem come playoff time. Kevin Durant cannot play the five, not when he's a crucial piece to their offense. Offense needs to rest, and the defense needs to do their work. You shouldn't have your best player be your center, especially if that's not his natural position. That's what I got to say about that. I think the Bucks had a plenty of uh, ways to win the game. I think they just uh, ruined it in the end. Brooklyn came out on top. They scored more with ease because um, they're just so well-rounded. It's nothing against the Bucks. Just the Nets have way too much. I trust the Bucks to maybe take a game or two in the playoffs, but we'll see what goes on ahead. As for the Rams losing to the Packers, I am very upset about that I think the changes that need to be made with the Rams is the offense obviously the Rams defense has very little flaws I could live with that defense hopefully they have everyone back healthy and uh, ready to go for the next season because I won the championship title within the next three years the Rams offense needs a huge change it's not the same offense it was once before uh, Todd Gurley's final season with the Los Angeles Rams. It is so bad now. I get frustrated just watching them. I don't like that Jared Goff loves to uh, only target Cooper Cup. Uh, Cooper Cup is not uh, durable. I feel like I've been a fan for quite some time already and I've seen a handful of games where he's played well. Um, I don't need another season of that. So, I hate to say it, but Jared Goff needs his, needs his ticket out already. I don't think he should stay with the Rams uh, long term. I, should, I certainly don't think they should, they should extend his contract. He's got to be on the outs already. His production is, is not the same without a Todd Gurley on the, on the run. So... Either get a good running back or get rid of Goff. There's a lot of quarterbacks that are willing to get out of the position that they're in. Uh, I would love to see Deshaun Watson in a Rams jersey, but let's see where this goes. I hope if uh, Bill O'Reilly, no, I forgot his name, but the Bills manager, uh, I would hope that he would make another dumb trade. Like letting DeAndre Hopkins walk for almost nothing. I hope he lets Deshaun Watson uh, walk for nothing. It's going to be a good one if that happens. But cross fingers it does. As for the Steelers, you already know where I stand with them. And now let me go on for the Clippers. Tonight they play the Sacramento Kings. I cannot remember if I touched a little bit on the Clippers last game. Um, of course they looked well as always. Paul George still in his MVPG. Uh, race so with that said I want to touch a little bit on the other Laker team the other Los Angeles team being the Lakers those guys are not as good as they were last year last year at least they had guys that were good at their at one aspect of the game this year I don't see too many guys as good at one thing LeBron everything AD He's been unimpressive. Uh, Dennis Schroeder has been solid on offense. 
or at least a little bit better than that and everyone else unimpressive don't move the ball well there's no other uh, ball handlers uh, three-point specialists uh, they're unimpressive and I see trouble coming their way unless LeBron could pull it off again I don't think this team's gonna win another championship they're they're way too disorganized they depend way too much on LeBron and AD it could work for them in the long haul but you gotta assume a few players would step up by now so that's all I got to say about this uh, past four days um, if I have anything else to add tomorrow I will but like I mentioned on my Twitter in case you don't follow me there uh, I started school on Tuesday I don't end until May it's gonna be rough to upload every day but if you guys could stay stay with me I, don't, I would greatly appreciate it I'd love to give more uh, insight of my own thoughts of what's going to go on in the NBA and NFL seasons and with these particular teams, but school's going to take up a lot of time this semester, so I'll do my best. That's all I got to say for now. I'll see you on the next one. See ya.